Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, I'm going to share with you nine things that you can do with your new Interactive Brokers account so that you don't miss the necessary changes or setup to give you a better investing and trading experience. I've done some of the setups using the IBKR mobile app and with some on the IBKR web portal, which you can log in from your computer. But don't worry, they should all be the same and you should be able to do that on either platform. Firstly, the most important thing to do with your new account is to secure it. So you should consider setting up your two-factor authentication, 2FA, which basically means securing your account by confirming your identity at the point of login using two security elements such as password and username with PIN code, fingerprint or face ID. So to do so, you will need to go to your IBK mobile app. At the login screen, without logging in first, tap services on the top left to set up your 2FA. It will only take you a minute to set up, so just click on register two-factor and continue and key in your username and password. Your default mobile phone number recorded for your account will be selected and an activation code will then be sent to you via SMS. Just key in your activation token and tap on activate. And next, you will be prompted to provide security elements such as face ID, fingerprint or PIN depending on your phone. And once done, you will see a confirmation of the successful activation of your IB key. Ta -da! And now, whenever you log into your IB key app or portal using username and password, you will then be asked to scan your face or fingerprint or key in the pin. And I'm sure you will feel more protected after setting this up. Better safe than sorry, right? And in case you are not aware yet, IBK offers two different pricing structures which are fixed and tiered pricing. And to put it simply, tiered pricing's commission depends on your trade value and you can get as low as 35 US cents per trade. While for fixed pricing, it will be a fixed commission of 1 US dollars per trade. So clearly with tiered pricing, it will benefit those that have lower volume trades. For example, buying 5 Apple shares or 10 Tesla shares per trade. Vice versa, for those that trade in higher volume, it is wiser to choose fixed pricing structure instead because the brokerage fee doesn't scale. And if you are a numbers person and want to see the differences between the two structures, I've done a detailed comparison in this video from minute 11.30 onwards, so feel free to check it out. So if you think that you are not an active trader just like me, then here's how to switch from fixed to tiered pricing structure. And yes, your account is on fixed pricing structure by default. On your web portal, tap on settings. It will then lead you to account settings and search for IBKR pricing plan. Tap on it and you will see that your pricing structure is fixed by default. So just change it to tiered and press continue. Once done, you will receive this success message and usually the request will take one business day at max to take effect. Next, for those of you just started with investing and want to start small, you can definitely do that through fractional shares. Plus, it can help to diversify your portfolio if you have limited funds to begin with. So in case you forgot to apply for it during your application, go to account settings in the web portal and find trading permissions. At stocks, tap on add slash edit and it will then lead you to stock trading permissions page. Scroll to the bottom of this page, tick all global and it will automatically help you to select the option for global trade infractions. Click on continue to check and confirm your changes and after signing, please click on continue to submit the request. The changes should also be approved in one business day. Pretty simple. The next thing you want to do is to change your default order size. What do I mean by that? Well, if you have ever tried creating a new order ticket to buy anything, you would realize the default quantity is 100 units of shares, but not many of us have that amount of cash to trade every single ticket, right? And before you say, but yeah, it just change the number lah, very easy only ma. Well, to that I say, there's an easier way to do it so you don't have to worry about it next time. This change of setting can only be done on the mobile app for some reason. But anyways, log in to your mobile app and click the More tab at the bottom right corner. Then click into Configuration with the gear icon. Now click Trading Settings and go into Stocks. You will then find Timing, Size, etc. What you want to choose here is Size. And then just change the quantity of 100 to 1 and that is all. Your future order tickets will now start with a quantity of 1 regardless whether it's on the mobile app or on the web portal. This change is applied universally to your entire account across all platforms. And oh, do you know that you are also eligible to open a paper trading account too? It starts with 1 million US dollar, fake money of course, which you can experiment in a simulated environment without getting scared of losing your own money. Pretty cool, right? To apply for a paper trading account, go to account settings, paper trading account, 
tap on it then you will be asked to fill in a different username from your live account and for the password you can reuse a similar password as your live trading account then click on continue once done you will see your paper trading account application submitted and it should be processed by the next business day for approval and that is all you can start using your paper trading account to try anything you want on the interactive brokers platform now for those of you that want to trade in the us market just like me it is better to set us dollar as your base currency so that you can then view your reports and statements in us dollar and those charges related to market data and research and commission on currency conversion will also be in us dollar you can change it in account settings and find base currency under account reporting Choose US dollar as your base currency and click save. That will do. And similar to other setups, this will also require one trading day to take effect. But don't worry, setting your base currency will not affect how you transfer money into interactive brokers. If you set your currency to US dollar, you can still transfer SING dollar into IBKR and then convert it to say US dollar cash if you want to trade US stock markets or convert it to Hong Kong dollar if you want to trade in the Hong Kong stock exchange. You get the drill. And of course, you can freely switch the base currency at any time you want. And next, let's give your portfolio page some love so that you can see more information at a glance. Go to your portfolio and on the positions page, you will see all your open positions and whatever you have bought before, such as your stocks, ETFs or option contracts. And by default, you will see these parameters appearing on your screen. So you can customize the columns to what you want by just clicking on the three dots button at the right hand side corner and edit the columns. For me, I just add on the percent of net LIQ which show the percentage or allocation of each stock in my portfolio and the unrealized PL percent from the positions and PL bucket. Unrealized PL basically shows you your paper gains in green and paper loss in red, which will only realize once you close out that position, i.e., sell that stock. There are also many other parameters such as realized PL, which will show your profit or loss after selling some of your positions. So feel free to check them out yourself. Number eight, this is optional, but I know some of you would actually appreciate it. If you're a night mode lover, you would definitely like this because IBK web portal and their mobile app also come with dark mode. It's very easy to turn on dark mode. On your web portal, just tap on the welcome button on the top right hand corner and select dark and there you go, that's basically it. While over on the mobile app, go to more on the bottom right and click on configuration. At the application team, change to dark and that's it. But of course, if you are a light mode supporter just like me, feel free to ignore this tip. Lastly, this is not a setup or change that you can make but something to take note of if you are new to the stock market and we are talking about cash settlements. Usually, right after you sell your stocks, ETF, etc., you will see that the cash is settled and reflected on your settled cash already. But this will not be the amount that you can withdraw or use for another trade immediately. For example, your settled cash before selling stocks is at 100 US dollar and you sold a total of 50 US dollar worth of stocks. In the immediate next second after selling the stocks, your settled cash will show as 150 US dollars. However, your buying power will still be 100 US dollars and this means that you can only withdraw or trade with 100 US dollars only. This is because stock settlement will generally take place on the second business day following the sales transaction, i.e. trade date plus 2, T plus 2, which means if you sell on Monday, then the settlement is on Wednesday. Alright, I hope this video has been helpful for you. I've also made a video about 9 common issues faced by new users, which I highly recommend you to watch too if you are just getting started you can click here to go to that video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one